Hello, internet. Here's a crafty thing to do. I should probably clear this up really quickly. The difference between a crafty thing to do and a tutorial is I'm not really gonna explain what to do. I'm just gonna kind of give you ideas. Whereas a tutorial is me actually showing you every step of the way. So that's, am I framed right? I usually do this stuff before I start filming. Do you have a hat that you think is boring? If the answer is yes, then here is a suggestion for you. If the answer is no, then uh, find a boring hat then. I realize you could totally just buy a hat with ribbon or accentuating features already on it, but if you are like me and you just kind of buy things without thinking them through, or you've had something for a long time that you'd like to spice up, then here's an idea. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add ribbon right around the corner here and we're gonna add a little bow to replace this sun hat looking bow right here. All you're gonna need is a ribbon, color of your choice, thickness of your choice, fabric of your choice, just any ribbon that makes you happy. A hot glue gun and of course the hot glue stick. You're gonna need sewing string and a needle. I recommend the string being the color of the ribbon that you chose. The piece just fell off. Why weren't you attached? Grab that hat, start cutting off any pieces of the hat that you don't want anymore. This way there's more room for decoration. I'm just gonna cut the ribbon to about the same size as the hat's border. Apply the hot glue and attach the ribbon to the hat. I'm already liking this so much better. Now there's this ugly bump thing in the back. That can be solved by a simple ribbon. Turns out I was completely wrong about the needle and thread. I thought I was gonna do kind of a combination of gluing and needling and threading, which is called sewing. I don't know why I said it like that. Turns out the hot glue was strong enough to hold the ribbon to the hat without falling off or becoming loose. So unless you feel like the hot glue you're using isn't strong enough or the materials on your hat just will not allow for the bonding of the hat and the ribbon, don't worry about the needle and thread. To cover up that little bump in the back of the hat, I decided to make a little bow. Feel free to use buttons or patches. And of course, attach the bow to the hat. And this is what I have. Yours will obviously look different depending on the hat that you used or the type of decorations that you used. I am now summer ready. I really hope this tip was very helpful to you. If you have any boring hats that you want to spice up, whether with ribbon or some kind of embellishment, I hope this gave you some ideas for things that you can do with hats, scarves, shoes, gloves. This has been a crafty thing to do and I will see you next time.